So now in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and solve systems of equations using the elimination method. Uh, here, we're going to cancel out the y's, though. Remember, we always want to find the opposites of numbers. So uh, if we're canceling out the y's, I'm going to look. I have a negative 8y. So the opposite of that would be a positive 8y. So by doing that, I'm going to look at this negative 4y right here. I know a lot of people say, but Brian, uh, it's 2x minus 4. I don't know where that negative comes from. Well, that negative just, that minus sign represents this 4 as a negative as well. So you don't have to really get confused on that. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by whatever. So let me rephrase this. What number would I have to multiply my negative 4y by to get positive 8y. Well, that would actually be a negative 2. Why? Because a negative 2 times a negative 4y would give me a positive 8y. But I also have to multiply that by every term. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I know negative 2 times positive 2x would give me a negative 4x. And then negative 2 times negative 4y would give me a positive 8y. Oh, and there I go. Look, I have the opposites right here, which is very important when I'm solving using the elimination method. And then negative 2 times negative 20 would give me a negative 40. Then all I know I have to do now is add down. So 6x plus negative 4x would give me 2x. These are opposites, so they cancel out, and that's the whole approach that I want to use when solving using the elimination method, because I only want one variable. And 2x equals, 2x will equal 44 plus negative 40 gives me a positive 4. So when I solve for x, I'm left with 2x. Um, equals 4, so I divide both sides by 2, and x, since these cancel out, x equals 2. Great, but step number 2, when doing this, tells me to plug in value. What that means is that I'm going to take this x equals 2, and I'm going to plug that into any one of these equations. Honestly, it does not matter which one. I always just like to use the top one. So I'm going to do 2, and then instead of putting the x, I put open parentheses, minus 4y is equal to 20. And instead, I'm going to go ahead and plug the 2 in instead of the x, because x equals 2, so I can do that. 2 times 2 gives me 4, so I have... 4 minus 4y equals 20. And let's see, I want to isolate the variable, so I want to solve for y. So here I'm subtracting 4 to both sides. That cancels out, and I'm left with negative 4y is equal to 20 minus 4, which gives me 16. Then I divide both sides by negative 4 and y then, since these cancel out, will equal negative 4. So these are my two values. Uh, you definitely want to plug these in to check it, especially if you're taking a test. But we write it in xy form as our answer. So we know that our answer would be 2, negative 4. So what systems of equation tells us is that on a linear graph, the point 2, negative 4 is where both of these equations equal each other, or it's where they meet. So we'll go ahead and do a video to show you how to check that, so when you take a test, you're more aware of how to do that.